What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Hasim Rahman, Anthony Joshua. Get this. According to Hasim Rahman Jr., he states this, as you guys can see, he has a picture of himself, Anthony Joshua, the history of violence being replaced as the opponent. Now, this is what he had to say. He said, boxing is the theater of the unexpected. Let's get it on at Anthony jo Joshua. Handshake. Hmm. Okay, so we look at some of the comments. Y'all must have forgot, bro. Went the distance with Greg Hardy, who's 100 pounds heavier. What the F? How has bro pulled this off? With the skeleton emoji, uh, LOL, WTH. This was so unexpected, technically an influencer versus a pro. Joshua by murder, no hate towards Hasim. <laughs> it was nice knowing you while you were alive, Hasim. Let's repair history 22 years later. Rachman by KO again. Mm, bro spelled August wrong. Ooh, ooh, okay. I can't talk. Okay, Matt, good good shit. I'll actually watch it now. I'm rooting for you, man. Circle away from his right hand and move, and you got this. And it's real. Okay, those are some of the comments. Now, I don't know how true this is, but this could be something definitely, uh, definitely worth looking into. What do I feel about the fight? Uh, wow, I, I think at this point... That would be somebody I feel that Eddie Hearn would be comfortable putting in him in there with. That's another, that's actually a step down from Jermaine Franklin. Because I don't think Hasim Rahman Jr. is really anywhere near that level. So yeah, this is like a kind of a novice fighter. Because I don't even think he's nowhere near a contender yet. I think he's still a novice. You know, uh, would I be happy for him? Hell yeah, I'd be happy for him. You know, if you, you had my name beside Joshua and I was fighting him, I would be happy as hell too. Let me go to the gym and rip off a couple weeks of training before possibly getting KO'd. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, I mean, again, I, I'm happy for him because to me, Hasim Rahman Jr. is a guy that, you know, he's the son of the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world and is trying to make his own lane in boxing but he hasn't made that quite yet. That's how I feel about Hasim Rockman. I remember when, you know, uh, he was going to fight Jake Paul and some funny business happened with something of the weight and the this and I don't know. I forget what it was now, but he didn't get that opportunity. So if this did go down, if this really did happen for Hasim Rockman Jr. fighting Anthony Joshua, he's getting paid. He's getting at least a mil. So he'll probably clear five, 600,000. You know, pays off his people. You know, he's left with 400 grand. It's a lot of money for a young kid. Okay, unless he's getting more than that, which would be extraordinary. So I'm happy for him. I hope this is real. I hope he gets it. You know, um, most importantly, I want to say this. It keeps the whole card intact. Because, dude, we have guys, Derek Chisora is supposed to be fighting uh, Jarrell Washington, which I'm happy for both of them. You know, we also have a um, couple other fighters there, you know, that's supposed to fight. Hergovic is fighting on that on that card, too. So, yeah, there's a lot of people that's fighting on that card that's expecting to get paid. So I hope the card stands still and I hope the replacement is made. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Hazim Rahman Jr. Uh, posting this on his channel. What does it mean? I don't know. Is it real? I hope so bars. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe and you guys been counterpunch. Peace.